Hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? Hope you're looking forward to the videos that are gonna be coming in three and a half hours. We're gonna have two videos back to back, and the first one is over an hour. <laughs> no, no, not over an hour. It's almost an hour long. I should switch to the screen. <laughs> hey, oh, ah, why does that thing always break? Wait. Oh, that's weird. If I move my mouse really fast to the other side, it doesn't switch. It's useful, but it's weird. Uh, let's see. Fix that. I don't know why, but my computer never knows which monitor is which. Which is kind of frustrating. But I ain't that just a way. Oh, crap. You're not supposed to see that. <laughs> you saw nothing. Ah. <laughs> well, I mean, the second one was... The actual video. The first thing you didn't see was a uh, was version. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a loud sound. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everything's going wrong. Hello, everybody. Hey, Druv or Druv? Is it Druv or Druv? Because I noticed other streamers call you Druv, and I always thought it was Druv. Um, and hello, Lovro. Um. I'm sorry. Alright, today I want to put up uh, this music because it's good stuff. Uh, just the entire Minecraft soundtrack. And uh, we are going to be working on either the lions or we're going to be continuing the entrance or we're going to be continuing this Sita Tunga habitat. We have a lot of options, because we have been slaving away. <laughs> we have been working very hard in all sorts of areas of the zoo, which is pretty, pretty cool. So, um, yeah. Let me quickly show you around the lions, because I... Uh, yesterday, after the stream, I, um, I went back to the lion area, and uh, I did a bunch of stuff, actually. Even though I had been really struggling with most of this area, I suddenly just really got into a groove and I, I started building and... Uh, and yeah, we got over here, all of this fencing done. Which, even going diagonally, over here it switches to a different type of fence and then it goes back to this, then it goes back to that. Freaking staircasing down, there's a nice little moat. And we even have a little bit of backstage, which isn't the most detailed. It's also... Okay, I feel like this music might be too loud. So I'm going to turn it down a little. Um, we're going to have to lower this down. Why are you so tall? Huh. It is truth, okay. I will keep that in mind. But yeah, just a little backstage. Nothing too fancy, because it's just a backdrop, really. Um, but I do have the most elements. I actually do want to do something here real quick. Before we uh, do anything else. And that is that... Oh, crap. Not that. That is the anti-climbing. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the custom fence on top. Yeah, thanks. I'm really happy with it as well. I, I got away... Um, like with the, li the tiger habitat over here. I got away with using the in-game one. We might update it now that I have a good looking way to do it. Uh, same goes for over here. The entrance lion habitat kind of got away with it with it doing it that way but I felt for this habitat um, that this fence is, is pretty iconic and um, yeah I, I felt like I had to do it custom to really get this habitat across only problem is that of course the lions aren't being stopped by this so we had to add a whole bunch of elephant grass all the way around um, but that works so, uh, you are making a lot of mods, but hey, uh, 
as long as you're having fun, right? <laughs> uh, so the cool thing about the elephant grass is that I actually place it on the other side of the fence. And that still prevents them from climbing over um, without preventing them from walking all the way up to the fence. So that's pretty nice. They can still get real nice and close and uh, give you some awesome views of the lions. So that's really cool. Another cool thing, which I'll also talk about in the video, um, if I ever finish it, because I have been making it for ages, but it's fine, um, is that this fence is actually from the car safari. You can see it a little bit, but just imagine you can't. <laughs> you can't really see the fence from over here. And um, you can't see it at all from over here. So when there's cars driving there, I should actually place a car down, a car or two down there. Just uh, sell that. Let's take this one and this one. Um, is there a way you can put the lemur island enclosure on the workshop? I can try, but I don't know how well that will go. Um, but I mean, I can probably put a fence around it and uh, I'll see what I can do. But I don't know how easy it will be. I could at least try to put the climbing structure on. Anyway, let's uh, put down one or two cars. So they're going to be on this side because they're checking out the lions. So imagine you're in here. Yeah, you can kind of see the fence, but from over here, <laughs> it looks just like the cars are driving through the lion habitat, which is pretty cool. It's just one of those side lines things. So yeah, uh, I had a thing I was doing. Uh, I noticed the other day, so I have this video. Video, video, video. Wait, let me check Discord, because I linked it somewhere so I could find it back easily. And bum, 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 bum. where is it? I am blind. Here it is. Yo, Hello. So, this is the the backstage, which you can kind of see, and um, let's see, there was a point around here, I think. What? Oh, this video kind of. <laughs> um, there's a couple of videos in that playlist that are that I want to skip, but overall it's a good playlist. Let's see, there was one point of this video where he showed the backstage really nicely, but I can't find it. <laughs> Let's see, it was around here, I think. Or was it a different video? Might have been a different video. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, it was probably a different video. Because I can't find it. Nope. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter that much. Because I realized that I was doubting whether this uh, holding area went all the way up to here or not and at first i thought it didn't but after watching that video i thought eh, actually i think it does so gotta think hello wouting we we wvg wout and that name took me for a spin there all right there we go 
So we gotta get rid of some of this bamboo. Let's actually just move it because we're gonna put it out here. And then we just want get okay, there's some overlap here so we can just take them out. And move that along. And we just want to extend that a little bit. Something like that. And then over here, there should be another thingy. There. Wonderful. steal something from the other lions. I think. I think I have one. Yeah, this. Not sure if it's very to scale compared to a lion. Nope. <laughs> uh, might change it a little bit then. I mean, it is to scale for the building. That's kind of the problem with the working at a skill. Uh oh. I want to select my table. There we go. And now I want to take this gate and I'm just gonna put that on each of them uh, I recently found out that the oldest Jaguar in captivity in Oshnek Zoo has passed away that is a bummer But I assume he probably had a pretty good life. He was that old. Um, there we go. Then there's one more thing, which is that I want to add some... Oh wait, we're not in the nature tab. There we go. Add some of these, which is not as easy as it may seem, because I don't really want too many flowers. Wait. Did something change over here? I could swore I didn't have that many flowers sticking out. Hmm. I don't I don't I wish I had a flowerless version. The only thing you have of these that don't have flowers are these big boys. Which doesn't really work that well either. So you're kind of just left with trying to hide them, kind of like this. Which 
doesn't work that well e either. We also make the safari resort or other Libama parks when you're finished. That uh, the safari resort is definitely a plan, eventually. Uh, maybe not as much in depth as the park, but I definitely want to make it, if not as a nice backdrop for the rest of the zoo. And we have space for all of it. Um, if you look at Google Maps. Um, because yeah, it's 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 all of this. Um, you can already see um, this is where that stable is roughly, probably, maybe a bit further out. And that stable's over there. So yeah. Anyway, um, the resort is about this big. So there is space for it. So definitely gonna add that in. And uh, after that, I don't know, I might, I, I visited uh, Nuna a few, a, a week ago, almost, almost a week ago. And it was a really nice park. I think it might be a fun one to do as well. Um, but it all depends on uh, what I feel like when I get to that point. Yeah, Dierreik Nune. But yeah, that kind of depends on what I feel like when I finish this one. Because I'm either going to be sick of it or I'm going to be uh, itching for more. I mean, it's going to take a while to get to that point regardless. Because there's lots to be done, and when we're kind of done with the zoo as it's now, we're gonna add the new, new black rhino area. And I, I think it's gonna be fun to um, return to this project every now and then if the Beeksberg is adding a big new area or something like that. Because they have a lot of plans for uh, for the future of the zoo, which I'm not sure um, <laughs> I'm able to talk about. They never let me sign a, uh, a, a like a non-disclosure agreement or anything, but I also didn't get the impression that they uh, expected me to shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> The things they told me, especially since the the person who told me literally asked his boss, "Like, am I allowed to tell him this?" <laughs> yeah, the new black rhino habitat does look really good. Yes, I have spoken with Rick once. In fact, um, he was actually not going to be at the zoo that day, um, but he came over <laughs> specifically to meet me, <laughs> which was uh, kind of weird, because, uh, I don't know, if any of us would, would be like a fan of the other, I thought it would be me, <laughs> uh, Seeing as how like he, he's the designer of all, most of the stuff, well, not most of the stuff, but a lot of the stuff I've been building, he designed, and uh, <laughs> and I've been watching a lot of his videos from back when he did uh, those for the YouTube channel of the zoo. I also met. Um, not the last time I was at the zoo, but the time before that, I met the... Um, he is very enthusiastic, yes. <laughs> um, but I also met uh, Stein, which was the other guy in a lot of these videos. Um, who is a biologist. Uh, who still works at the zoo. Helps a lot with education and stuff like that. 
Um, so that was also really cool. And um, he basically told me like, yeah, um, me and Rick both played this game. And then to see what you're doing is just <laughs> insane. So it's really cool that they actually, because like the manager of the zoo is like, yeah, I, it's really cool what you're doing. But he doesn't know. Um, yes, they were both from Safari Report. Um, the manager of the zoo doesn't know the game, so he doesn't know exactly. He knows it's a lot of work what I'm doing, but he doesn't fully grasp it. And they flow, the Stein and Rick both played the game. So they know, like, they know how much black magic is going on in this zoo. Um, anyway, um, I'm not feeling the entrance right now. We might get to it later in the stream. We've got about uh, three hours. Three hours max before I really want to get ready and, uh, you know, get a snack, get a drink for the premiere of the Tarmashadi Zoo episode. So let's work on the Sita Tunga with that a little bit. So, gonna open these two. I'm also going to see if maybe there's a video. I feel like I did that last time. Oop, my bad. But let's have a, a bit of a look. Look, look, there's only one video. Yeah, there's only really one video about them. Which is this one. Why is she on the other side of the park out of a sudden? <laughs> Look at how fluffy they are. Yeah, the, I, I noticed that the other day. Yeah, well, I wonder what that episode is going to be about. I definitely didn't accidentally almost spoil it at the start of this stream because I still had a tab open on my computer that showed it. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I don't think anyone saw. And uh, if they did, they didn't, you know? Because I told them they didn't see anything, so they didn't. Um, but yeah, I noticed that the females don't seem to really have a fur shader at all. Which I don't know if that is intentional. Because uh, the mill does is the thing. So I feel like maybe that's an, a bit of an error. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Kept my kept kept quiet for two months and then accidentally <laughs> spoil it on the day. Uh, classic. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? <laughs> we we should. I don't think the the video will help much. The only thing I can see is there's a, there's apparently a small tree in front of the stables. <laughs> Which uh, is a great help in doing anything. Next time I'm at the zoo, I'm actually considering um, since over here you can kind of walk along the dromedary camel habitat, I wonder how far that goes and if you're actually able to get behind here. So next time I'm at the zoo, I might actually try that. Just uh, get on the on the resort again and see if you can walk around back here. Because that'd be pretty interesting to see. Is that a baby? It's a floof. Um, why is it giving me a lay designer video when I search for n nothing? It has nothing to do with what I searched. Come on, YouTube. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see, what sort of building do we have? I think that's actually going to be a pretty difficult one to make. Especially if we want to have the the corrugated... <laughs> the lady is everywhere, there's no escaping her. Oh god. Um, oh, actually, eh, it might not be that bad. Let's see, I'm going to put it at 15 degrees. Because that seems about right. And we're going to go ahead and make this roof. Probably going to make it a bit longer than what I initially laid out. Go ahead and grab some food. We're going to be like, I'm, I'm occupying the entire day for most people. If, if, if you actually watch everything that I'm releasing today, including the stream, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking up a huge chunk of your Saturday, and uh, I apologize. <laughs> I mean, I'm not forcing you to. <laughs> but yeah, between this and the Tarmashadi and my my uh, Tarmashadi addendum, <laughs> you could say, I am... Uh, <laughs> I am... Shut up, even. <laughs> All right, I think that is about the shape of the roof. So now we just need to color it. <clears throat> Can we actually... Um. <laughs> but, but even, that's Mike's job. <laughs> it's Mike's job to delete everything. I wonder if this actually makes sense. Oh, what? I'm not allowed to add it to the group. <laughs> it's rubbing off on you. Yeah, well, people noticed, I think. Okay, no, that is actually... No, wait. Oh, because why would it make... So... Like, okay, this is super nitpicky, right? But... How nice would it be if, if like, this would be a 15 degree angle? Because then angle snap would make so much more sense as well. You know? It really doesn't matter all that much, but... <laughs> it's, it's super nitpicky. But it's just one of those things. What it could have been so great. How mm -mm 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 -mm. oh, these roofs can be a pain. Yeah. They do. And, like, consistency. Like, why does... Why is plaster the only one with 
the hole. And stuff like that. I already feel like I'm putting too much fault into this roof. Yeah, it is. So, okay, it's the same model, but I honestly feel like they reinvent the wheel with every building set. <laughs> like, sure, yeah, well, okay, so all of these things, like there's a couple of standard things that probably is just a retexture. But for a lot of things, I think they really do just kind of reinvent the wheel every time. And welcome back, Lofro. Hope you got some good food. different okay cool Slavonian pizza I what makes a pizza Slavonian? I'm not sure. <laughs> but pizza's good. I had a little too much pizza yesterday. Um, Domino's had a two for one deal. And uh, at that point, I just go like, oh well, then I may as well buy two pizzas. And you know, when you have like two slices left, but you're really full. <laughs> uh, I made I made a bad decision yesterday. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. This building is... Like, why are all of our wood sets? We have this one. We have the... Let's see. <laughs> Wait. We have this one, technically. We have this one. That's... That's metal. But So... Sure, we have that one. Okay. Wait, where's the Australian one? What? We have this one. And we have the stained. 
wood. Okay, so here's my question. Why are the only wood kinds with horizontal planks? Shit. <laughs> I hate this one. I, I It honestly gives me a headache. This one is fine, but like super situational. Like, and these are all vertical. I mean, at least this one has this stuff, so we can just put it like this. It's gonna suck to do the point though, but we'll see how we do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even as a floor, it just gives me a headache. Whenever people use it, okay. Um, I'm gonna be a bit hypocritical because uh, if, if you open my first franchise zoo <laughs> like dead at the entrance there's this huge building <laughs> made out of the horizontal planks um, from the modern set um, but I'll still say it because it, 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 it does hold true for my own building as well whenever someone uses that wood set it just makes me want to cry Uh, okay, why is this one in the playlist? It's not good. Come on. Okay, I don't like how it... have to move it down in its entirety. And then add a thing on top. You're almost at 900 core seeds. Dude. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't played in a while. Again. Yeah, you really should have, um, I don't know. Like, I don't even know what I'd do in your situation. Because I'm already like, okay, so I've got like 400 of them. Now what? I don't even think I have 400, I've got like 300 of them. But yeah, like, now what? Yeah, I don't know. I I think if I ever get started on it, I'll use... Um, I'll use this website. Where if you make an account, you can also mark anything that you've done. Um... And then it can show you what there's still left to do. Okay, you have used the map. Okay. Because I still... Like, that's the thing that I'm planning on doing. But I'm like, I'm going to have to mark off the 400 things that I've done. And in your case, you would have to mark off, like, the, the, the 800 and something... <laughs> things that you've done just to find the ones that are left I have used this map to uh, locate all the bosses like all the taluses and the uh, Hinox things so I've defeated every monster now and you get a little medal which is <laughs> kind of an underwhelming reward not gonna lie Breath of the Wild isn't, isn't 
that great with its rewards. I mean, the reward for the Korok seeds is even worse. Um, I won't spoil it. <laughs> In case you don't know yet. <laughs> It's not just pretty useless. It's 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 literally in theme of of today. It's literally a pile of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, that's something I have also been doing. Um the armor upgrades. I mean, you you know that because I've I've, I've been raging about beetles, <laughs> as one does when upgrading armor. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, the only reason I would go back and, and I will when I, whenever I get my game back <laughs> or whenever I can borrow it from someone again, like, I just want to play that game, but I don't want to restart the game because I've done that and it, it wasn't having as much fun. Can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2 to at least hear some news on it. Give me anything, Nintendo, please. Uh, do you have the DLCs? Yes, I completed the Master Sword trial. The DLC shrines were all pretty fun, except some of them were were stupidly easy, like the fire ones. Like half, like I think more than half of the fire shrines from the DLC were built around avoiding fire, but I had fireproof armor, so I could just waltz right through them because I I didn't take any fire damage. Anyway. <laughs> and, um, I did... I did cave in and uh, pre-order uh, Sky with Sword, even though it's not as good a game and just, I haven't played it in a long time, so it'll be fun to do it on the Switch. Yeah, the bike is fun. And um, I, I did the last Monster Trail. And I think I did it like <laughs> I, I, I was. I, I remember I was at my girlfriend's place, and I was like, "Oh, that's something we, I can do." And so, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! I'm gonna fill like a ton of times, and it'll take forever to do." 
And then I did it first try. Which, you know, felt really good, but then I was just back to having nothing to do anymore. I also did it in a really risky way. Like, I completed the final room in a very risky way. And my girlfriend looked up and she was like, Oh, this is the final room. It was like, Oh, well, now the stakes have freaking tripled. Hey, that's actually not that bad. That actually looks really good. <laughs> now, I wonder if I can get that broken wood paint, whatever. We just got new birds in Ushek Zoo. A black crowned crane, night heron, and that's a long name. Wait, did I say crane? I think I, I think I did. Black crown night heron and a little egret. Um, okay. Let's see. I think if I get an art shape and we get over here. If we make it not white, slightly yellowish, as always. Good to make things look a bit dirty. By the way, speaking of my girlfriend, something she got me, which I've been meaning to show for like two streams. Oh, you can't see him. Crap. I thought he would be in camera. Look at this boy. He's so big. <laughs> it's a blahai. And I freaking love him. I'm not really a shark person, but come on. Look at him. <laughs> He's so big. He's like one meter long. We don't we don't have jungle skugs here in uh, in the Netherlands for some reason. IKEA just denies us of, of the joy of jungle skug. So uh, so we got up the high instead. I wonder what this white stuff is. Is it... Is the building made out of white things? And is the paint coming off? Or... Was it painted white and is... Like, is it brown paint with white stuff? Or the other way around?
This is gonna look interesting. Hitboxes can be so annoying. <laughs> Starting to look pretty good. Hey, Nix. Welcome. Actually, I can probably just get away with doing something like that. And then. What are we building? We are back at the Sitatunga habitat. And we're currently doing a shoddy paint job. <laughs> Where the paint is either Either all but the white paint has come off, or the brown paint is coming off in this spot. I'm not exactly sure which of the two is happening here, but we're building it. Um, oh, shouldn't have done that. There we go. Might throw up some stripes and stuff in there. That's... Oh. That was not going as intended. <laughs> there. Yeah, that looks kind of, kind of cool. Pretty, no, not really something I've seen many people do in game as well. That's always fun. Do you have any mods installed? Yes, a bunch. I have the Dick Dick. I have the uh, South African Leopard. I have the White Rhino. 
I have the North American River Otter, uh, which we will use until someone makes a um, Asian small clawed otter. Then, oh yeah, this is. Oh yeah, no wait, that's today's episode of Tarmashadi. Like I remember in in the the recording of Tarmashadi. Um, I think it was Wyatt. He made something out of like a ton of these things. He basically made a whole cylinder, like this. And I was just like, you'll see it in today's episode. I was just like, you know that this thing exists, right? Like instead of one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, you can have one. So you can make the same thing in, with a sixth of the pieces. <laughs> so even if you're still here and you want to save some pieces. That thing. I think this is good enough, especially since you're going to be viewing it from a distance. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Happy with that. And I just got to give it a bit of, uh, give the roof a bit of an edge. Usually I do with that with gutters, but I'm not sure if that is a good idea. Why did I press? There we go. Because I feel like that might be a bit too big. Because usually I'll do something like this. Looks, looks looks about right actually. I think we can get away with that. So I'm just gonna make that this color maybe a bit lighter. Maybe a bit grayer. Something like that. And then Wait, no, I don't want to copy that. I don't know why the attachment point is over there. Planet the zoo is just being drunk, I guess. Let's see, a little edge. Yep. Why would it not be centered? There we go. You also need a trim down the middle. So, oh wait, no, first I want to make it the right length. Oh yeah, that's a thing I did. We'll fix that. <laughs> Why do you attach over there? Like, what makes you think that that's the center? St stupid game. Can't even do simple vector maths. I'm 
I mean, of course, I am a expert at vector maths. I passed calculus at university with like a five point something <laughs> out of ten. It was a passing grade, so, you know, that's how you know I'm an expert. I didn't, I didn't really see the importance of vectors until I started programming games. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I can like... I think, I think the first time I used vectors was... I was programming, we were making a racing game, a VR racing game. If you ever wanna uh, get absolutely sick, uh, program a VR racing game. Because you have to do a lot of testing while it's not working yet and then you accidentally uh, have physics that if your tar car touches another car it gets launched into inner orbit spinning in circles <laughs> in VR <laughs> which is fantastic it's uh, a lot of fun and uh, <laughs> especially if your if your boss is so accustomed to VR that he doesn't get sick of it <laughs> Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was programming um, the um, we had we had this really fancy steering wheels that um, you could basically program like vibrations, but also um, you could program like some force to force the steering wheel to steer in a certain way. So um, I was calculating. Um, the location of the hit, say your car got, you, you, you get hit by another car and it hits you on the right. I wanted your steering wheel to give you a, a big, big impact that steers you to the left, basically. So you had to like keep your grip and stuff. Um, so yeah, bunch of vectors to determine if you got hit on the left or the right, and then in which direction you should be, in, like, getting that that haptic feedback, and also which side of the steering wheel should shake and stuff like that. I had a bunch of vectors. It was really cool. Okay, a little stable. I'm not, it's the only problem, I don't know what the the front of it looks like really. Hello Christina, welcome to the anticipation stream of the Tarmashadi Zoo video. It's the only reason we're here. <laughs> we're just passing the time. Did I ever make that door? Not yet. Wait, is this supposed to be the door? It is, right? Yeah. Is it a chaining door? Oh, it is a chaining door. I was like, why didn't I make that another thing? Uh, let's make a little gate out of that. So, we'll copy this. Hello? I'm gonna make this null posts because these posts are frustrating me. Um, so I'm gonna take out that. I'm gonna make all of this null. I'm gonna get chain link. No. Hello? And then we're gonna get chain link again. Put that back. Thank you. And now we can actually work with this. Oh, 
that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Cool. There was something I wanted to talk about, but I forgot what it was. What's your color code for it? it's uh, 19 194E45. Did I get it right? Yeah. <laughs> hey. It, after after many, I, I changed it like a couple of times, which involved also changing every fence in the zoo, basically. Um, so sometimes, I think it was yesterday in the stream as well, sometimes I still find a fence that has the wrong color. But I'm pretty happy with it. It looks pretty good. Only problem is that some fences are actually black and I can never tell which ones. Um, Cause like, so you, you look at a picture and you're like, okay, is this fence black or is it just poorly lit? <laughs> hey, welcome back Droof. So we got that little thing. I just wish I got a better look at the stable. Why is that fence there? It's in such a weird little situation. I actually want to see if... Do I have a picture? Of do I even have pictures of oh hey hello that is exactly what I wanted now is it just me or is this building green <laughs> have we just made it the completely completely the wrong color I think it has answered the thing that I was wondering about whether this was like wait okay so I'm pretty sure I know what's happening here um, okay no I don't <laughs> this is very confusing but I think the building is green it's definitely green I guess the lighting made it look different. Well, time to select everything.
Oh boy. There's things in here that I haven't selected and I know it. 15. <laughs> 14, 15, 14. Okay, I hope that's everything. Let's see, I'm gonna go top to bottom. There. <laughs> yeah, my problem is... <laughs> what color is the fence? Your problem is, is there a fence? I mean, that's... Um, I, I tweeted it yesterday because I'm really bad at... Okay. I've definitely not selected one. But that's fine. Wait, why did it not update? What? Why is this not... Hello? <laughs> why does the thing not update? That's so annoying. Um, but it, I, this does answer the, 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 the question that we had earlier. So this is actually not a wooden building. Um, I think it's it's uh, like plasticky, metally, and that's why the green paint is kind of scraping off over there, and that's why it turned white. So that's one mystery solved. Um, but yeah, speaking of, is there no fence? Uh, I showed it earlier in the stream, so sorry if if this is uh, old news for you. I thought it was just really cool. Like I found a video of the designer of the zoo talking about how this fence over here is very carefully placed so that you can't really see it from the car. Um, and even more so down here, you don't see that fence. So it just looks like there's cars driving through the lion habitat. <clears throat> Which is really cool. Uh, wrong way. But hey. Green building. Cool. Um, where's that picture that I was looking at? Because there's a, a nice little thing there. There's also a, like a fire hydrant sort of thing. I think. Let's see... That one may be a bit big, but I could just take, I'm going to take something from that blueprint. That blueprint is a bit of a mess, which is why I tend to just grab. Talking about fence, what's your path fence trick again? Oh, you mean this? Uh, I should actually make an updated version of that tutorial because I found out something new yesterday. Um, but you mean... Crap, why am I so bad at finding stuff? It's because there's trees everywhere. You mean this path fence trick? Uh, uh? It was a very simple tutorial. Like, that was one of the tutorials I was actually able to get under one minute. But it's pretty easy. You just put down the path. So you have like a nice little path. Then you have a fence. Any fence. Oh. And let's make it this one actually. It's a bit more logical that you would make a door out of that. Uh, unless you want to make a Harry Potter park. But why wouldn't you use regular concrete? So now you just make an other, another barrier over here. With a gate. And ba bam. Now the thing I found out yesterday. And if you m need to move it. You can like move the fence around to get it right. But anyway, the thing I found out yesterday, which is pretty good to know, uh, especially if you're working with like natural path and you want to do the thing that I do, um, as long as the gate is there, you can actually edit this fence. Uh, I don't think you can edit the fence itself. No. But um, so the path, I mean, I said fence earlier. Uh, so yeah, as long as the gate is there, you can actually kind of do stuff with this path. 
So for me, that means that while the while the uh, while the gate is there, I can kind of hide all of these curb markers, and then you just delete the thing, and you can just continue on as if it's a normal path. And yeah, and now that the now that the gate is gone, you can't edit this anymore. So you gotta be a bit careful. But yeah, as long as you keep the gate there, you can do whatever you want with it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little trick. For making gates and whatnot. Are they all swimming? <laughs> I mean, they like water. That's a thing of their species. Alright, let's take that fire extinguisher. I think this thing is a bit big, possibly. It's not that bad. Could be worse. Okay. Um. Hmm. We should, first of all, oh, oh, come on, I hate this, stupid YouTube, in the middle of a video as well, come on, are you still watching, why do you care? There we go. Um, when are you going to start your own sandbox series? Would it be a 1k sub special? I'm not sure if I'm uh, if I'm ever going to start my own. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, I really... I might do uh Oh. Okay. Thanks for freezing game. Um I might I might do some more collab stuff in the future. Cuz that is a lot of fun. But I'm not sure if I'm uh, down for an entire sandbox zoo on my own. Why is this so difficult? Okay, something like that. Hello. Hello. Greetings from my roommate. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. It's not straight. It is very not straight. It's the le least straight thing I've ever seen. Hello, Peter. Well, speak of the devil. My roommate was just asking if you were here. <laughs> uh, 
what's the color code for the walls? Um, I don't know. I just get grabbed my my basic green color and made it slightly darker. Wait, what am I? I don't want to select the glass. What the hell? Why is it not turning blue? Nothing's turning blue anymore. Hey, I, there's the thing we forgot the color. What? Why is nothing... Hello? Why can I not select it? <laughs> okay, the game was having a moment, I think. Is it working again? Yes, okay. I don't want to select the glass. I just want to make this red. Also... <laughs> eh. Crap. <laughs> there we go. Red thing. Ugh. Ever since I got my wisdom teeth pulled, there's always a lot of stuff in my, like stuck behind my teeth, because there's a hole there now. I feel like most of the whole hole has been, uh, has fixed itself. But there's still like a little space. Yeah, it's not it's not a hole anymore. There's just some space back there where stuff gets caught. Which is still a bit annoying. But oh well, what can you do? Just try to clean it as much as I can. I can easily yep. oh, there's a bit of Z fighting in there. And there we go. <laughs> so on the other side why does it look like that door doesn't have a door <laughs> looks like it's just a hole like I, can't, I can't see any door like thing What I can see is that there's some stuff. So let's make some stuff. 
probably around this much. That makes sense. That they would get in over there. Have a bit of space. And then they can get inside of their thing. If they want. What is that? I can't tell what that is. It looks like a beam. So let's just get a um, wood beam. Something like that. Is the volume of the music alright, by the way? I'm gonna skip this one because it's not that great. Hmm. I really wonder if this is a door or not. Because I might just make it... <clears throat> I might just make it a... Um, A hole, but not an actual hole, like a uh, freaky hole. <laughs> Ten points if you get that reference. <laughs> I think if, if I want to do that, it's better to do it with plaster, because plaster is less reflective. I really wish... Um, we had like a... Uh, <laughs> might be too too much of a game engine-y thing. But I wish we had some kind of material editor for like... Especially for the art shapes. Like, we could say if we want the R-shape to be more metallic or matte. Um, what do you think? How much longer will you build to make Sperge? Well, we're really getting, we're getting really, really close to finishing off the walking safari. But... I still want to do a much more detailed shore for the boat, especially around here, um, basically around this, which this is going to be the black buck habitat, and the black buck mod, mod the black buck mod is almost, um, is in its finalizing stages, a little birdie told me. So, um, yeah, probably going to work on that pretty soon. Um, and then... Probably after we do that, I'm gonna be like, hey, it's update time and we're gonna make the new Rhino area over here. So we're gonna change a lot of stuff. Then, in the midst of everything, we're gonna be working on some of the backstage stuff around here, probably. Um, and then it's car safari time, so we're going to make the entire car safari, which goes all the way past here, around here. A bunch of stuff left to do. And then there's the entire resort. So, I don't know, a year? <laughs> it's going to be a while. Which is fun. It's nice to have something to do. There's always more to do, really. You can barely tell that there's a, a hole there. I think it's better if we just make a door. You know we're not sure if there's a door there. 
That's gotta be right. I've also put this beam way too high. It should be like this high. A bit more forward and a bit more. I uh, know there should be a uh, like a bracket sort of thing. gonna take this and put it here make it green why does it never update the thing when I want it to This one kind of goes like this. And there's the two trees here. I think this one might as well put this one down because it's a bit slimmer. Let's put that wheelbarrow down as well. That's not in the nature tab. Actually, I don't want that wheelbarrow. I want the... Um, could you make a video with a flyby tour from the sky over the entire park? Um, I've got a little trailer video that has some sky shots, but to be fair, like from the sky, you really don't see all that much. Like it looks kind of cool, but I don't know, a lot of the details get lost. Whereas if you, if you go down, then you really get the, the zoo experience. So, I don't know. If people are interested in that, I could try to put something together, but... I don't know, there's not that much to show from the sky. Um, why do I keep getting lost? Um, is both the habitats for Sitatungas? What do you mean both? There's only one ginormous habitat. Oh yeah, I was looking for the wheelbarrow. Should be one over here. Yes. Really nice workshop item. Like the fact that someone made a better wheelbarrow than the one we have in game. <laughs> Out of objects from the game. <laughs> Kinda speaks volumes. Second habitat on the right side. This is gonna be a parking lot. And uh, yeah, this is just a he very big habitat for the Sitatunga, as well as the African forest buffalo. 
And on this side, but that's the left, so I don't think that's what you meant. There's going to be a dromedary camel, adex, and ostrich enclosure. I think that's all the animals in there. And today there was an adex mod released, so that's really cool. I'm going to be able to put those in. <clears throat> right, looks like there's a little wooden shelter on the back there as well. Kind of reminds me of the one back here, so we might be able to copy that. Yeah, not really. Uh, I do also have something similar here. I think this is actually copied from over there, isn't it? Was I lazy? No, I wasn't lazy. I actually made a whole new thing that is almost exactly the same. Look at me go. Well, now we're going to make something completely different again. Because... It looks like it is. So you gotta keep an eye on the time, because we have about just under two hours left until the big reveal. crazy how the frame rate just completely drops but I mean we're at the far end of the zoo like if you look this way just everything gets loaded and then now all, <laughs> all frames come rushing back it's even worse than Haribo zoo in the Sola zoo there's just there was one spot where I just couldn't look in that general direction or or my entire game would just freeze up Why doesn't it update the freaking color thing? I don't want them to be green, game. What? That's not how any of this works. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> There we go, something like that. What's even in there? Looks like it's just trash. Um, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Just, uh... Just getting ready for, uh... The Tarmashadi Zoo episode and the, uh... My own video about the same thing. Which I think... I just rewatched it. I was actually not gonna rewatch it. 
Um, because <laughs> it'd be fun to like have me experience it almost blind as well because it's been so long since I made that video. Yeah, something like that's fine. But um, I don't know, I had some time to kill before the stream. So I was like, yeah, I can watch some of it. And it's, it's a good video. I'm pretty happy with it still. It's a bit dated <laughs> because um, I recorded it like two months ago, which was it, it was, it was recorded before we got billboards even. So some of the things I say in that video might be a bit dated. It was also, I also said like, oh yeah, this was my first collaboration project, but by now I've also done the Haribo thing. But, uh, it still holds, it's still my first. It's just, <laughs> they came, <laughs> they came out in the wrong order. Alright, I think that's about it. Why is there even a gate over here? I feel like that one doesn't get used. And where does that path go? It goes through here. That's weird. Like it goes somewhat like that. There we go, that's something for future me to look into. <laughs> okay, cool. So we got a little shelter. Now, I know that there's probably something in front of that shelter. But what? What could it be? I also, this is a thing, but it just shows all the trees and stuff, so it's not very helpful. See, there's other things that I have here. I don't think I've made that jeep yet, have I? Or have I just put down, I've just put down a jeep. I've never put a thing over it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so from this side... Not a lot. I have more pictures of this parking lot. What, where? Hmm. Where have I kept all those pictures? I guess I found them. <laughs> this can't be all of them. This is a very helpful picture. Um, yeah, no, that's about all. This is the wrong side. So you can see there's a little path over there. I think that might be where the staff gets in. They just 
get over here. I think it's even more. Slightly more to the side. So they, they hop over the thing here. And then they just walk up to here. Wouldn't be the strangest thing. Not the most accessible either, but... <laughs> um. Okay. I think that's the, the stall. Pretty much done. Uh, a vulture got released today in Bulgaria. That's cool. That's nice. Reintroduction. So it looks like there's another door. I feel like this fence should be a bit more to the right. And then we need to take this to over here. Take it forward a bit. And take an art shape. And then right next to that, I can put down this tree. Because that seems to be pretty close to what there is. Hmm. Now you'd think in all those other pictures. We would have seen that tree. Why didn't we? There is a thing there. I guess it's that tree. But that's kind of weird. I don't know, I prefer the building without the tree. Because I just like the jankiness of it. But a lot of that building is going to be hidden away as well once we get all of the rest of the foliage in. Which is a bit of a pity, but that's how it goes. It's probably better if we just press the, that button. Wrong color. Uh oh. 19.4E45. <laughs> Game does not like this. <laughs> it's a lot of fence. There we go. Oops. Why does that unpause the game? <laughs> um, I think you're the person with the person with the most photos taken of the Big Sabre. Probably. What am I at? Like, I don't think I've updated my album recently. 
but uh, it's probably over six thousand at this point. See, there's an electric fence over there as well, which is interesting. Anyway, let's get some uh, some rock stuff done. I'm just gonna copy some rocks from over here. Because I can probably just use the same ones. That's a lot of photos. Yep. Alright, so... Just like that. Just get a couple of piles of rocks in there. I should have a more complete picture. I have the entire thing in it. At least that's what I thought. Yeah, this one. And African Forest... I know I saw a screenshot of one. Wait. Yeah, this is a thing I saw on the modding Discord. So I, he, so someone was working on it, but this is three months old by now. So I'm not sure how that is going. I'm not sure if they're still working on it. But yeah, it's a great animal, so it would be really cool. Not just... No, that's that's probably one of the animals that I'm not just interested in because of the recreation. But it's actually like, I think it's a, a really cool animal, just in general. Also some rocks on the other side that we can't see. At least I doubt that they... Uh, these are a bit lighter. We're also gonna throw in some... Uh, non faux rocks. To finish it off and maybe even by the looks of it we can probably get away with some rubble as well Just kind of mix, mix it all together a bit. The rubbers are a bit more of an, uh, an eye catcher because of their brightness. <laughs> yeah, nope. I think that's already really good. Maybe a bit more rubble. Not sure if I need to add any in-game rocks. 
Like the real rocks, the non faux rocks. Let's get rid of those. And then we can take... I want to take some... This is a facility stat, what am I doing? And I want to take some cork. Yeah, I love the the creosote bushes to just use them as like dandelions. I think it's supposed to be mostly dandelions in the most places I use them, but they just give that nice little bit of life to all of these habitats. Oh wait, I don't want to be on a hundred percent. It's too intense. Let's see, just use some of that, add a bit of coarse sand, especially along these sides, kind of. And then some grass on top. Perhaps even a bit of long grass. I'm not sure about that, though. Looks pretty good. Though I'm gonna try to throw in a bit more. It's probably going to get rid of most of the long grass, but some of it remained. Maybe add some long grass with a smaller brush. brush. And add some eel grass, because that's always, always nice. Okay, maybe not always. I'm sure they, I'm sure someone can find a way to make the Ilgas look terrible. But for me pretty usually a pretty good option. I think it should be a bit less crowded over here. Get the small one instead. Get the small one instead and just get some some patches of it instead of trying to cover it all. Uh, the eelgrass is from the aquatic... Uh, I'm not sure if it was from the aquatic pack, but it is at least from the aquatic update. I'm not sure if you need the DLC to have it. But yeah, it was definitely a fantastic addition to the game. Because I use it all the time. The Addix looks pretty neat. I haven't downloaded it yet, but the picture I saw was we can check it out real quick. Um, let's see. There we go. Yeah, that does look really good. I love the horns. The curvy horns. Really good. Right, I'm gonna get some acacia. I'm gonna put those on top because they kind of look like the trees that there are here. So 
something like that. And then last but not least, I want to add some crowberry bush patches just to get a bit more of that green on top and especially like here in in the rocks. Um, I think you need the DLC, maybe just get the willow trees and some bush for free, right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I instantly buy pretty much any DLC that comes out. The only DLC I, I like, wasn't sure right away if I was going to buy it was the Southeast Asia DLC. Because it was an animal DLC and I wasn't going to need any of the animals for my zoo. Uh, but I, even that, I just bought it anyway. Can't wait to see the Tsiyotanga sitting down under these trees. I hope they can. Where are they? Let's have, a, let's have a quick look. See what this does to their traversability. Ooh. So here's something I want to try. Um, here's another little trick. Oh crap, no, that's not going to work. Because it's going to remove the grass. Wait, I can use... Yeah, I can use this. Okay, so here's a little trick. You want to put down some bedding in this spot because you want your Sitatunga to lie down over there. But if you do that, wait, let's actually let's have a visual demonstration. Um, so you're like, oh yeah, I can use the plant bedding because they that blends in nicely. But, oh no, it ruins my entire thing. Fear not. Here's what you do. You grab a natural path and you try to put that on there somehow. Let's see, let's see if we make it smaller. So you put down natural path and kind of go around it as well maybe. And what this does, as you might very well know, is um, it locks all of this terrain in place. So even if we try to edit it with like a brush, I can't change it. So if we put down some bedding now, so I'm gonna take the medium leaves. I'm just gonna put that right there. And actually, I think I wanna put one over here as well, but Okay, it did get rid of some of the grass, but we can easily brush that back. Same over here. Put the grass back. And now you can just delete path, just delete all of that. And bada bing bada bam, there's some bedding on top of this hill now. So hopefully, I'm actually going to save as well because I haven't done that in a while. Hopefully. Um, they're going to be lying down over there now. And hello Tobes. Welcome to the stream. We have about one hour left. Just a bit, a bit over, like an hour and 15 minutes until the stream starts. The, the, the premiere starts on Eben's channel. So let's, uh, let's have a little look if any of these Sitatunga want to come over there. So uh, here's a little thing that I haven't talked about yet. Uh, when I was at the zoo, uh, like a week and a half-ish ago, um, I was talking to some of the rangers and one of them asked, they were talking to each other as well, of course, and one of them asked a question to uh, what I guess was kind of, is kind of their leader, maybe? I don't know. Um, Robert, who you might also know from the ranger request videos uh, on their YouTube channel. 
if you're familiar with the zoo at all. How do people keep ending up over here? Stop. You walk there yourself, you dummy. Why can't I even move you? Um, this is one of my favorite songs from the Minecraft soundtrack. Um, but yeah, one of them asked, like, hey, how many camps book do we have? Do we have a male camps book? And um, Robert just grabbed this little document and he was immediately able to look it up and he's like, zero five. We have five females, no males. Uh, so apparently <laughs> there's just a little document that tells exactly how many of each animal they have. And um, I still haven't sent him any. I've been meaning to send Robert an email if he's able to share that document with me. Because I would love to kind of have the accurate numbers. Because I immediately um, got rid of my male Kemsbok and also some of the females. And now we have five female Kemsbok walking around in here. That's just a little cool, cool, cool little, cool little thing. Oh, yeah, it works. There they are. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. It's like they're going for some shade. This is already really cool. Uh, yeah, I do have the blue wildebeest mod as well. Yeah, we could have a little mod, mod hunt. So we've got North American River Otter as our um, uh, Asian small clawed otter, which is much better than having um, the giant river otter. We've got uh, Nishita Tunga, of course. We were just working on that. Then I'm going to download the Edex. We've got... Ooh, what else do we have? Over here we have... Uh, ah! <laughs> Flamingo is loud. Uh, we've got the White Rhino, which, of course, hopefully we'll be able to replace soon uh, when the Africa DLC maybe comes out, but this is a pretty cool mod. I mean, they, they ported over uh, a model from uh, the like the recent Zutaikun game that wasn't that good. Then on the same field over here, oh yeah, this is also something I haven't updated. There should be more of them, but we have uh, Kudus, but there's not actually Kudus here. Uh, it's common eland in real life. But the kudu, apart from the horns, uh, look very similar. So I thought that was a good, good temporary replacement until we ever maybe get common eaglets. Someone wants to make those. Um, then we have, of course, in here we have the uh, the male white rhino, which I'm not sure looks that much different. Hello, Romano. Um, but yeah, we've got the mill in here. Just I just put them there so that there's something to see in the stall. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? We have the dick dick out here in this aviary over here. Let's see, there they are. Little dick dick. Then there is... Um, I could have, so here's a fun little fact, apparently this hyena habitat used to be a striped hyena habitat, uh, they used to have a striped hyena here, like up until 2017, I found out about that the other day, uh, but they don't have them anymore, it's just uh, spotted hyenas now, so I could have used the striped hyena mod here if they still had them. They don't. So um, we've got out here, we've got the Ellipse Water Bock, which are also pretty cool. And yeah, as you said, we have the Blue Wildebeest. It's also really nice. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> um, my name is playing Gigi Dax de l'amour toujours. 
That is sounds sounds terrible. I am sorry. <laughs> so sorry for your uh, inconvenience. Uh, all right, and over here we have the African leopard, and this is the the remaster version of it. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and I think that's all. I'm trying to think if there's any others. I am uh, patiently awaiting the more mods from Jen. Because I know she's working on... Or he? She? I think it's a she. Uh, is working on the Red River Hog. And the Black Buck. And the Batusi. And those are all things that I uh, can't wait to use. Because these are supposed to be Batusi kettles. And then, yeah, I mentioned earlier in the stream, this is going to be a black buck habitat. And uh, there's a bunch of deer mods already, which are great. Because uh, the car safari, this part of the car safari, is just a whole bunch of deer and stuff like that. The Axis deer, the Peter David. Uh, no, wait, the Peer. I don't know why. I always thought it was Peter David, but it's the Peer David's deer. Um, and the... Um, I don't know, I don't think there's a bot for it yet, but the Buntang. It's a pretty cool uh, little a East Asia, Southeast Asia kettle, which uh, would be nice to see at some point. Yeah, I've heard that. It's, uh, it's up for translation, so it's almost out, probably. Hype. Can't wait. Did the mod? Damn it! Sh fuck you, YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. In my favorite song. Like right before a drop as well, I think. Uh, I don't think you can call it a drop, really, but. Like, as the song gets. picks up power. I want to see. I want to see the rock, but I also want to see the thing. Uh, let's see. I want to put it like this, just to get. I don't know. Tips. Maybe we can get the the bear berry. That's always a nice little. I love this song. There we go, something like that. I'm just gonna put some of the same stuff on the back. Doesn't need to be too much, because it's... I think I'm gonna skip out on the eelgrass on the back. Just to kind of save on pieces, but I can put down some of the corkwoods. And that crowberry. There we go. Oh, they left. Look at them go. Um, right, so that is the hill. Um, why doesn't Lake Survive have open habitat for the leopards like they have tigers or lions? I'm not sure. I guess they're just more avid climbers. I'm sure there's a good reason for it. Wow. 
wow, this really is starting to become one of my favorite areas. Um, they mention how many animals they have in Ranger Reports occasionally, but it's going to be really hard to figure all of that out. And if you can just send me that file, then it'll be like, bam, <laughs> there it is. Right, so we're just gonna add some cut spine. I actually wonder if these guys are probably based on the Niala, right? Uh, wait. I wonder if they can use this. Yeah, nice. Cool. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine to lurk. Hell, I'll even be happy if you just turn on my stream in the background of something. <laughs> you can even mute me if you want. Just give me that watch time. <laughs> so yeah, that is pretty accurate already. Really happy with that. Um, looks like these rocks, this big pile of rocks, should be more over here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and move some of that. We can keep some of the rocks, but the bulk of it's gonna move over. Especially like all these big ones. <laughs> yeah, I have the same. I uh, I love I love. Just listening to stuff while building is it helps a lot. I find when I'm when I have the most struggle building is also when I'm having the struggle to find something to to do while building. So if I can't find a good YouTube video or I can't find I can't figure out what music I want to listen to. And I also start, like, I, I just, I don't really get into a, to a groove that easily. Let's see. Some of this. Can move over. That's, that's about right. A lot more openness in here. Maybe get rid of this cork wood as well. Move that up a bit. There. Um, why don't you close the zoo so guests are not on the park? I like the guests and the, I don't know I, I might get a little bit of extra FPS but I've got the guests limited to like a thousand uh, in the game settings 
So there will never be more than a thousand. And uh, I, I really like watching them walk around and uh, stuff. Because it just brings everything alive. It's also why I... <clears throat> It's also why I do so much effort to try to get paths in and uh, I think a more recent example like all of this was such a pain to make functional vending machine um, just all of this stuff this one especially there's a there's a path in here there's even a bench in here. I really hope the guests will sit down here and uh, check out the hyenas. It's like something super satisfying. When I actually connected up this path, immediately guests started walking here. Which was, yeah, just... It makes it so much more satisfying uh, to see everything come, come to life. Oops. So yeah. That's why. Anyway. Yeah, it's really fulfilling to see the guests interact with what you build. Fully agree. Alright, we're going to add... A couple of these scratching posts. Just kind of let's get one a bit close to the car track. This is where the car is gonna drive. And then we're gonna have just a whole bunch of trees. Really don't need to be picky here. Yes, it is really big. And mainly because it's it's part of the the safari, really. So you drive your car around. Okay, now I'm just <laughs> The moment you see a grid, you just automatically like, okay, one tree per square. <laughs> no. It has to be random and natural. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much all of the car safari habitats are, are really big, which is fantastic, of course. Once we get to making the actual car bit of it, it's all gonna be it needs to be so much denser. Pausing. Oh, <laughs> that was the song. I thought it was YouTube pausing my video again. But the song just had a silent bit.
I think it's a dense, it's a really dense forest. Which is kind of, it's a shame there's only really two trees <laughs> that work well. Because this one's too, the canopy is too low. And I mean this one, especially. How old is the Big Bear Park? Well, uh, 53. From the top of my head. They opened in... Crap. I thought this DVD. <laughs> I have a DVD of the 40 year... Oh wait, it does say it. 1968. They opened. Yeah, I have a DVD. I still haven't watched it. I have a DVD of the 40 year anniversary of the zoo. Should check it out pretty soon. Because I wonder... I, I doubt... The, I also had a book of the 40 year anniversary. And it didn't... Um, the, the book didn't really give me anything new that I didn't already know. Which I'm, I'm getting at a point where that shouldn't be surprising anymore. <laughs> Ooh, you went on a safari on the Okavango Delta and now I saw some wild citatungas. The way they move was just mesmerizing. That sounds so cool. I watched a documentary about the Okavango a while ago. And it wasn't that great of a documentary. <laughs> but the Okavango Delta seems like a really cool piece of nature. The reason the documentary wasn't that great was because it, it was like it was called into the Okavango. Um, I came out knowing maybe one or two things extra about the Okavango Delta that day. <laughs> like I learned very little, which the point of a documentary is to to teach stuff, right? <laughs> It's the only river that does not flow out to sea. See, I, I, you just learned me already. You've you, give me like two more facts, and you've told me more than the documentary has. <laughs> there, that's starting to look like it. Now we just need to take a random selection of trees. And we need to kind of move a couple of them down a bit. Just get some height variation going, right? So we're just going to go around, not you. Selecting random trees. Especially here at the front, because they're going to make the most impact. Here we go. And I'm just going to put a bunch down. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to take some random trees. And maybe, I'm not sure if that works as well as I want it. Um, did you know tigers are orange because deers see orange is green? What? I did not know that. That is really cool. Huh. That makes sense, I guess. I just thought that in their environment they were a lot more like reddish oranges plants. But this makes a lot more sense. Uh, did you know the elephant closest relative is the hyrax? I don't know what a hyrax is. But neat. 
What is a Hyrex? What the hell? Oh, okay, this is not a great song. Um, okay, that's interesting. Right, I think we should only grab like two trees at a time. So when we rotate them, or at least we should grab trees that are like in the same line. So that when we rotate them, they don't completely offset. And that way, we can create some more randomness, but a bit more efficiently than doing it tree by tree, you know? Lovely David. All right, my turn. Did you know that Okapi babies don't poo for like weeks after being born? That's uh, gonna do it. Now I just want to see if I can. It does appear to be like a bit of like a thicket at the end. I just want to basically pass this fence. I want to add a row of things. I don't know if we can use. Yeah, it doesn't let me place them even on the edge. So we need... So these would kind of work. But I want them to cover more ground. So I'm going to put them like this, I think. And then... Hey Bjorn! Welcome to the stream. We have about 45 minutes left before I'm gonna send you guys over to Eben's channel for the new Tharmashadi Zoo episode. Okay, we're probably gonna have to move the fence a little bit. <laughs> Did you know that 90% of koalas have chlamydia? Yes, I do. Just back from a visit to the actual Beekseberg, and that is super cool. I should go again soon it's been it's been uh, over a week it's been too long okay let's see can we double up on that Today is very hot out here. It's the opposite. The, the weather is kind of took a uh, a ninety degree uh, turn. We went from being way too hot. Oh, the Gibbons were singing. I've never heard them do that at the Beekse Bergen. This like last week when I was in Nuna, I heard Gibbons sing for the first time in my life. Okay, this is a really nice, uh, this is a really nice backdrop. I'm happy with that. It really makes the forest look that much more foresty. Wait, let's actually get the, get the sun back there. Whoa, that looks cool. Uh, look at that. Pretty neat. I guess the animals were pretty happy with the weather though. It's a lot more 
They, they probably weren't all just... I don't know. It seems like the weather today is kind of perfect zoo weather. I haven't seen any rain yet. But it's not that hot. It, it, and it's a nice, nice warm temperature to be outside in. But it's not like so hot that all the animals are just gonna be doing nothing. There we go. And we're gonna get some birch in here as well, just for some texture variation. Yeah, we're probably gonna move. Move some of this stuff around. I think we're gonna use this one. Oh yeah, you got a lot of video material. Nice. Yeah, I was, uh, when I went to Nuna, I was, uh, after I did my first lap around the zoo, I was like, well, the only animal that actually did something was the bear, because they were swimming. <laughs> um, but luckily, um, I did a second lap around the zoo. And the animals were kind of starting to get a bit more active then. It's 8 degrees in Johannesburg. See, people f think, oh, Africa, it's always hot there. But no. Like, I think South Africa is more, like, temperate-ish. All right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna move this fence a bit. Because I do love this background for the zoo. We're gonna probably do that around um, most of this side and this side as well, probably. Not this side though, because actually on this side of the zoo there is more uh, farmland and stuff. So it's actually not going to be that inaccurate. But yeah, this is really cool. Happy with that. Okay. I'm going to go to the toilet real quick. And after that we have about half an hour left for, um, I don't know, don't know yet what I'm going to do. We're a subtropical cli climate. Huh. Alright, anyway, enjoy the Sita Tunga while I'm away. And I'll... Uh
All right, I'm back -o. Did you guys enjoy the Sita Tunga? Um, oh. Um, blah, blah, blah. Tigers passed away recently, now Tiger is second habitat for lions. Right. Was I on... Oh, we were on speed. Well, hope you enjoyed the slightly fast Sita Tunga. Ooh. It's nice. I like that we put the bedding there. Making them uh, lie down there. This is very accurate to the real zoo, because they're... I feel like the zoo, because you can see all these little poles. We can actually add those, maybe. Um, I feel like sometimes the zoo just keeps them in this sort of area. Um, for reasons. But yeah, that's anyway. That's... That, <laughs> Let's get the sun back a bit. Bear's going for a swim. Oh. <laughs> yep. And um, we're going to go uh, to the entrance. I think we're going to work a little bit more on the entrance before ending off the stream here. So let's do a little flyby of the lions. They're all doing what lions do best. <laughs> so yeah. Soon, we're gonna have this finished. I just need to do all the rock work and then the uh, foliage around it and also inside. Uh, I do like, I haven't seen them use it yet, but I'm definitely gonna keep the Skull Street scratchy post. I should check what other habitats I can put that in because it's such a cool enrichment item. I'm so glad they added that. They probably saw all of us like hide uh, scratching posts in in logs and stuff and they were like oh we can just make that a thing for them and I'm really glad they did anyway I'm getting distracted <laughs> as I tend to do which is also a nice thing like the fact that my own zoo distracts me like a real zoo would almost Right, so here we are at the park. Well, nothing changed here since yesterday. I uh, have just been admiring the lights. <laughs> Still really happy with those. Uh, let's see, one thing I want to make is the electric uh, car charging thing. So let's actually uh, close all of our Sitatunga stuff and we're gonna open our entrance stuff and our parking lot stuff. Where is that one? I'm blind. <laughs> parking. Oh, yeah, there's also that to do. Oh, we could also do some of this stuff. I forgot. Let's see. Why have I put this here? Huh. <laughs> why is this on the to do list? What have I missed out on? That's... I, I don't know why. I, oh, I guess just the, the entire interior. Yeah, not gonna do that. <laughs> not gonna do the entire interior of this place right now. That's just something I'll have to do some other time. Let's see, uh, I actually did most of this already. I think I did that. Let's see. That's uh, all of this stuff. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good. This, I don't know why I put this in the to-do list. Like that's just something I've been working on. Because it's part of connecting up the path. So, I don't know. Uh, you still have to add this up. Uh, of course. Did you send- you sent me a picture of that, didn't you? Wait, let me see. Oh hey, you sent a video of the, the gibbons. Wait, let's have a look at that. 
Um, let's see. Okay. Wait. Okay. Let's let's pause the music. We're gonna listen to Bjorn's video. There's not that much to see. So this is the Gibbons today. And uh, the video is stuck. <laughs> it's not playing. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll reload the page. <laughs> Don't you love it when people are talking through your recordings? Especially children. They sound a lot different than uh, the ones I saw yesterday, or I saw like earlier this week, I showed yesterday. And they're actually a different species of gibbon as well, so I wonder if that uh, makes a difference. Anyway, here's the picture Bjorn sent me. <laughs> Let's make it. Why not? Uh, oh, wait, let me actually retweet uh, Eben's announcement of the premiere. <clears throat> All right. Uh, the sound was Gibbons. Yeah, but I mean, um, it's a different species of gibbon. It's uh, these uh, the Beekseberge has white-handed gibbons, and uh, the ones in Dierreich were white-faced gibbons. I'm not sure if that matters for their vocalization, but um, anyway, so we have the sauer bar, which I <laughs> white. Are you making me do this? I hate this freaking device. It's such a mess. You can't see it in this picture, but at some point the mayonnaise thing was like so loose. Whenever you pumped the pedal to get sauce out, it would it would literally go like this. <laughs> so you would have to just try to catch your mayonnaise with your fries, if you wanted any. It was a mess. <laughs> so, uh, let's let's make it, I guess. Um, where do we even put it exactly? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> like a lawn sprinkler, almost. Alright, so we're going to start off with this, which I think is a pretty good size for it as well. We're going to group that up. Um, Got to keep an eye on the clock, because in an hour, or half an hour, I want to end the stream. Alright, I'm going to get a full stop for those little holes. Why is it not straight? Did I line it up? Oh crap, I lined it up with the thing instead of the thing. That is not very great. There. Just make it well aligned, that makes it a lot easier to deal with. Okay. So we've got three holes. A basket thingy. You've got to catch all that sauce as it falls through. So that was the next issue, of course, because they weren't directly above the holes anymore. There was just sauce everywhere. 
Oh god, it was such a mess. I think... I don't think I put that in the video, wait. I think I have a, a filled video recording of me trying to use this thing as well. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, maybe. Yeah, you can see it. The movement here wasn't that bad yet. But you can see it going from side to side. <laughs> and that only got worse over time. Did the music stop again? Why did it stop? That's weird. I'm um, actually just gonna skip to over here. Oh, we're almost out of soundtrack. Crap. Because that's the only weird thing about this playlist is that it has like the Minecraft soundtrack, but it features like spin-off stuff as well so like after these three songs he's gonna play minecraft egypt pack or something which i think is just some kind of thing from the consoles i don't know why i guess i just wanted to be thorough in the soundtrack but it's kind of it feels a bit weird listening to Egyptian music when you want to listen to Minecraft music. Alright. So we got a little basket for all the sauce. Then we want a little thin Boy, the soundtrack of Tron is pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that movie. So I wouldn't know. Filter species to the filter aviary. Cool. gonna be a great thing to put on the workshop and just confuse people with. <laughs> mm. Wish I could put them... That's too big. Oh, maybe I can use... the... Yeah, too bad the thing behind it is too big. Because these things have the, have the perfect shape. Although they are a bit too close together. But they would have been fantastic. Um, let's see, what else can we use? Hmm... 
I think we're gonna have to use the sign bracket. Not sure what else. Smart. Yes. Thanks, brain. All of these things aren't all that small. <laughs> like... I get that because so because it's the one meter variant, it's considered small. Hmm. This is kind of interesting, but it's gonna have a particle. <laughs> it's kind of a, a, the perfect item, but I don't want any particles. So, I guess not. Oh, maybe the icicles? Nah. No, we just have to use the sign bracket and make it work. Could you turn the particle off? That's not a thing, right? No, you can use the color, and you can change the color, but you can't turn them off. anyway so the good thing about using this one is that we can actually color them the right way so that's cool so we can be like hey mayonnaise and curry and ketchup So what do we do about, do we just make this thing really thick? We don't have to make it that much thicker, just like twice as thick. That's quite a lot actually. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't gotten fat, I've only got, I've only, I've only, <laughs> I've only become twice as thick. I wish I could kind of squish them together a bit more. Make it one thing. Let's see if we can do that.
sure. Something like that. And we'll get the L. Really? Oh wait, space L. Crap. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I mean, that works. There we go. Okay, I've got to put these planks closer together. <laughs> I see that now. Also, I want to get some color variation in here. There we go. And now we just take the thingy thing. down to the bottom I feel like it should be a bit higher than this I should have just used two meter planks to be honest but oh well this works too What is this thing? This is a thing. A terrible, terrible thing. That. Um, wait. Let me just put these in. And we can do the full demonstration. So this is a device where you can get sauce for your fries and stuff and you can just push a pedal and the sauce will come out. So you've got mayonnaise, curry and ketchup.
and let's see if we can make that little shape before the end of the stream. I'm not gonna put too much effort into it, just just gonna try. Dutch curry is not the Indian. Yeah, okay. Right. Curry ketchup. Very true. It's basically a self-service sauce. And it's a bit more hygienic because it's <clears throat> hands-free. At least that's the idea. In reality, it becomes a big mess. And <laughs> I'm not sure what's more hygienic. Having to touch the same pump or having bugs all over the spilled sauce. That ends up everywhere. Okay, we have entered Egypt music, you know, Greek mythology music. There's actually one more bit, like I have to scroll past all of this weird stuff to get to the music that was recently added to minecraft with another update well i say recently i think another update has been out for a while i haven't played minecraft in a very long time yeah okay that that's a good thing about it there's no litter of little packets and you can get as much sauce as you want That is true, point taken. They were actually um, giving away like... <laughs> we we got some fries at the... when the zoo just reopened. And they had these little packets of... Um, of like mayonnaise light basically. Which was already like, mm, sure. And they were like, like almost on the date. Like they were almost expiring. Like it, you could not even call it mayonnaise anymore. It was, it's not great. Not, not great at all. Uh, let's see, I want some 2D fonts. Like a letter L. It looks like... wait, um... <laughs> no, wait, that's not his name. Um, Heats McFlame? Heats Flamesman. Crap. <laughs> he reminds me of him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. Where do we even put that? Like, wait, I'm gonna keep one that's well aligned in my blueprint graveyard. Put that there.
and let's put it over here. That seems like a good spot. Have you ever seen a baby capybara? No. In fact, I've never seen a capybara. Well, not in real life at least. I've seen plenty of videos of capybara chilling with predators and... Uh, you watched a comedian yesterday and the guy said the best name for a dog is Hank. Short, powerful, and he wait. He gives a few more examples and end up with the best name for a seal, Sea Hank. Alright, so there's also a little one of these over here. So let's put that. Put that over there. You can get your sauce if you want. All right, so that's the sauce. I'm uh, I'm getting a bit of a, a raspy voice, so I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to check out the new Tarmashadi video, premiering on. Eben's channel in 15 minutes. Link is in the pinned comment as well as the description. Um, the pin, the pin message, chat message thing. I mean. Um, so yeah, it's gonna. It's a pretty long video. It's gonna be like 50 something minutes. So um, strap in. Um, but at the end of the video, that, that's the worst part. It's like near the end of the video, uh, we're gonna have a look at what I built for Tarmashadi Zoo, and I have to say it's some of my best work in Planet Zoo yet, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, after that video finishes premiering, there's going to be another video premiering on my channel, it's about 20 minutes long, where I'm going to go a bit more in-depth into the stuff that I built, and showing some reference photos and stuff like that, so do check that out as well if you're interested, it's pretty funny. Um, pretty fun stuff. It's like it's, it's it's a really cool build, but it's also a really fun build because the thing they had me build, uh, you'd have to see for yourself. It's 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 great. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another stream, another day, another time. Probably not tomorrow because, um, first of all, my voice has kind of taken a hit from streaming two days in a row already, uh, and I have a bunch of stuff to do like clean my room. I have to clean the bathroom because I do that every other week. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow is going to be a bit of a work day for me. Um, I am still working on the zoo tour video, but um, yeah, that will come out soon. I haven't really started editing it yet uh, still because I've been um, really wanting to finish this habitat and this habitat as well. So yeah, not sure when that's going to come out, but you'll see it appear soon. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the Tarmashadi video. Uh, I'll be I'll be in the chat, interacting with you all. So, yeah, you'll see me there. Bye bye.